Well, now we know how our power supply works. With a transformer to change the voltage, rectifiers to change it from AC to DC, and capacitors to filter out the pulsating DC, keeping the voltage pure. Well, believe it or not, we still have one more thing we have to do to our power supply before we send it to the computer. Remember I said that all of the computers that we use in games require an exact 5 volt power supply. And it can't vary very much. Plus or minus 0.25 volt or a quarter of a volt is about all we have either way. If the voltage starts to drop below 4.75 or it goes above 5.25 volts, the computer will probably start to malfunction. Well, remember that the power supply is simply taking the 120 volts from the power receptacle, changing the voltage, and filtering it. And remember, too, that the power that comes from the wall receptacle is not particularly constant in terms of its voltage. And it can fluctuate plus or minus 10%. And in fact, it does quite often. The voltage in this shop varies quite a bit. Sometimes it's 108 volts. Sometimes it's 124. So because that voltage isn't very constant, we have to regulate our power supply. The voltage regulator keeps the output voltage of the power supply at a constant 5 volts, regardless of what happens to the 120 volts AC input. The simplest type of voltage regulator used in games is something called a three-terminal regulator. And this is a popular three-terminal regulator. Notice it comes in a TO220 package, the same package that we saw earlier as a transistor package. However, this is a voltage regulator and it's actually an integrated circuit. You remember we looked at all those different types of transistor packages and remember that they had different transistor outline numbers, TO3 and TO220 and so on. Well, those packages are really pretty standard for all semiconductors and that particular package might contain an integrated circuit or a voltage regulator or a transistor. The only way you can tell which is which is by looking at the part number that's on it. It's just like these milk cartons where the cartons are identical but they contain different products. This is vitamin D milk and right next to it is buttermilk. And right up here is something called sweet acidophilus, whatever that is. They're all in identical cartons. And the only way you can tell the difference between them is by reading the label. It's the same way with electronic parts. Those packages that we have are really quite standard. The only way you can tell if the part is a transistor or an integrated circuit is by reading the part number. This regulator is one of the 78 series of three terminal regulators. These are positive regulators that can regulate up to one amp of current. They come in a variety of voltages, and the voltage of the regulator is indicated where the two X's are. By reading the part number on this part, we can see that it's a 7805, which is a plus 5 volt regulator. But we also use 7812 and 7815 in games. In schematic form, the voltage regulator is generally drawn as a rectangle. The voltage regulator is installed in the power supply after the diodes and the filter capacitor, that is, after the current has been rectified by the diodes and filtered by the filter capacitor, it's then regulated by the voltage regulator. The way the three terminal regulator works is quite simple. No matter what you put in, the output stays at exactly five volts. Well, it's not really quite that simple. There are a couple of qualifications that we have to look at, and one of them is the input voltage has to be at least two and a half volts higher than the five volt output. You can't put three volts in, for instance, and expect to get a regulated five volt output. But they usually use a much higher voltage in than out, so that in case the line voltage from the 120 volts AC drops somewhat, at least the output will remain constant that way. As long as the input is at least 7.5 volts, the output will remain at exactly 5 volts DC. Also, remember that this is called a three-terminal regulator. Well, the input accounts for one terminal and the output the second. But the third terminal is common or ground and must be grounded for proper operation of the regulator itself. Knowing the connection points of the regulator can really help speed troubleshooting when you're working on a power supply. And this is the connection diagram for the 78 series three-terminal positive regulators. 
Notice the common lead is in the center with the input and output on either side. Notice too that the metal tab of the regulator is also a common connection. There's another type of regulator that you'll often see used in place of the 78 series regulators. And these are the LM340T series. As before, the voltage is indicated by the number following the T. Thus, the LM340T-5 is a plus 5 volt regulator, and so on. Both parts are interchangeable, and you may even see a single device with both the 78 series and the LM340 series number printed right on it. This stern power supply is typical of most that use three terminal regulators. And here we see three regulators mounted to this black aluminum heat sink.